Okay, so Shah Rukh's a performer, but then so are these guys. The Delhi Daredevils have a world-class bowling attack with the likes of Glenn McGrath and Mohamed Asif in their ranks. Bowlers who have the opposition dancing to their tunes. But earlier today, they showed that it doesn't take much to get the usually aggressive pacers to shake a leg. All it takes is a few bhangra beats. If these daredevils knew the close association that Bhangra has with the top of the table Mohali side, they might have not been that enthusiastic about doing the Bhangra. But as they say, ignorance is bliss. This was just one more chance for the international stars to take in the Indian experience. Like I said, I've been here probably 12, 13 times or more and each time I've uh, I felt better, uh, got used to the conditions and to the food, so uh, I'm, uh, I'm a veteran. Just needed some lassi with that, but well done with the Bhangra guys. Now let's see if you can manage the Pagri as well as you handle your helmets. For players like A.B. De Villiers who haven't been here too many times, it's not just the novelty of the IPL, but the wonder called India that's left them totally awestruck. I love the food over here, I like a bit of spice in my food, it's, uh, but we haven't really had a lot of time to travel around, so, but I'd like to see the Taj Mahal when I get time, and I'd like to get as close as possible to the Himalaya mountains whenever I get time, but we we'll still have to wait to do that. You might think travelling to a new city every other day, practicing in the sweltering heat, and fitting in promotional events as well might be a little exhausting, but halfway through the tournament, these guys are far from complaining. In New Delhi, Supreeta Das, India.